So you know how last week Roblox released the live animation creator where you can upload a video of up to 15 seconds and it'll create the keyframes in studio as an animation. Now, well, Roblox just released a new feature called Face Recorder Studio Beta. Now what Face Recorder Studio Beta is, is it records your face. Like, as you can see right here, it records your face and adds it into the keyframe. You can wink, you can open your mouth, smile, whatever, and it would record it like that. And it's coming up with the full release of the dynamic heads, which has facial expressions. Kind of weird for Roblox, right? But yeah, um, I'll leave a link to the documentation and the developer form post in the description below. Um, and they also said that no video recording is saved and it's not shown in studio. So I'm going to be showing you how you can get this in Roblox Studio. Um, a disclaimer is that this is slowly rolling out. Not everybody would get it right away. That's one thing I forgot to disclose in my last video with the live animation creator is this would slowly roll out to people. Not everyone would have it right now, but yeah, I'll show you how you can do that in Roblox Studio. Okay. So once you're in studio, you want to head over to file, beta features, and then scroll all the way down until you see face recorder. Then you want to tick that and then press save. If you haven't enrolled in the beta channel, do that because it'll automatically check all of this for you, I believe. But once you press save, you need to restart studio. And once you restart studio, you can go into your game or a base plate. Uh, head over to plugins on the top over here. Uh, go to animation creator. Well, first off, I let me just insert a character, a rig, real quick. Uh, an R15 rig. Why not? So I go to animation creator or animation editor. Sorry, I click on the dummy rig right here. I name the animation. I'll just name it face test. And. It should show somewhere. Hmm. Weird. So I'm looking at the documentation right here, and it needs to be a dynamic head for it to actually work. And I haven't really done anything with dynamic heads, so I don't know where to do that or how to do that. But you can follow the article that's in the description. This is a video preview on what it would look like. Kind of creepy, to be honest. Um, but also cool at the same time. Um, and yeah, I've shown you how you can enable it. Uh, the steps should be the same. As you can see here, it should all be the same, but it would show the face recorder over here. Now that is it for this small update for the face recording beta. Um... I'll leave, again, I'll leave a link to the description in the description below for all the posts, the developer form post, and the developer documentation for it. And yeah, once again, it's slowly rolling out to users, so not everyone would get it, and you need dynamic heads for it to fully work, not a basic Roblox head. And um, yeah, see you again in the next video. Peace.